another American crew from Vespa Boat Club and Princeton National Rowing Center USA. They're on the right of your picture. And then the Dutch team, effectively under 23s, representing Hollandia Row Club on the left in the yellow boat. Time's pretty close, should be a good contest this one. Both straight and ready. Matthew I'm umpiring like the race. Attention. Go. Get ready, please. The American crew on the right of your picture raced in the Poznan World Cup. Not the greatest of races. Attention. They came in in fourth. Go. In that race. And uh, Vicky Opitz has been ill. The three women and so Elizabeth Youngling has come into the American boat. So perhaps that'll affect their performance, Cap. I think the American crew have had a, a sort of a probably a shock coming into Poznan as well. So I think they are a squad that's very much developing. Um, both these crews are very much developing. Very difficult steering, I think, happening in the Dutch crew over there, but they're corrected. I think they're back on track now. It's great to see what the impact is at the start of the island. I think the power of the Americans will take them probably to canvas half length lead. The Dutch trying to overcorrect. Matthew Pinson just saying, get back on your station. See the Dutch crew. That's the stroke woman, Voroni Mista, who's steering that boat. Probably that's cost them, what, a metre or two, you think, Kath? That's a shame, because they have zigzagged a bit. So not only does it cost you in terms of putting a brake on, it costs you a little bit in your rhythm and just on settling the balance of the boat. So they need to sort of get locked into their station and straight so they can then really power back into their rhythm and make sure they hang on to these Americans. But, you know, they're, they're already powering away in that very typical American style, a slightly lower rate, but really long, really long. There's so much power in that stroke. I, I have to say, I do prefer the way the Dutch are rowing. You know, it's, it's fluid, it's nice, it's sexy rowing around the back turn, by which I mean, you know, the, the boat seems to run on, but the American is a really power-based stroke that Tom Tahar sort of imbues in all his oarswomen, and uh, these women will be going back to camp to try and get in the US team for the World Championships in Florida later this year and that's the way they row. Absolutely, they do a lot of training, it's just power per stroke, a lot of low rate training, long powerful strokes and that's what we've seen in the very dominant American women's eight. It hasn't always had the finesse, the smoothness we've seen in other crews but they've generally come in and dominated. However, that wasn't the case in the World Cup in Poznan so these girls will have had a, a shock for uh, experience of being an American women's eight that didn't win for once. So, you know, they're, they're in transition, their squad, they're learning all the time. So they'll maybe here be also kind of wanting to, to show what they're capable of, get back on track, get back into the winning ways that's, that's expected from their squad. So the American four on the left of your picture contains one of the women that took gold, Emily Reagan, is rowing in the two seats. You can see Grace Lacks bow woman from the quadruple skull in Rio that's four women with two blades each this is sweet rowing so just one blade each and Emily Reagan won that gold in the women's eight Grace Latz who we're looking at in the bows there with a big V on her back she was fifth in the final of the quadruple skulls in Rio so so much experience Kev absolutely and and you know that power rowing style again this shot allows us to really see the difference in styles that kind of just power power per stroke uh, versus you know the smoother more efficient style but but less powerful in the dutch crew they're still in with the shout though the dutch under 23s Veronique meister and Yinka klevling took a bronze medal in the under 23s behind usa and romania in rotterdam last summer Caroline Florin there, the two women was there in the junior single skulls where she took a bronze medal behind Clara Guerra, the Italian who took that event, but I thought it was a great skull from Florin and uh, the least experienced Elizabeth Beers in the bow of the Dutch four. She hasn't been rowing for long, this is just her third year in the sport and you know what, I think they're in with a shout, Kath. Her efficiency is fantastic, the smoothness of it. And that's what we see so often, almost the stalking horses of races. They don't make a big statement at the start, but they have this efficiency, they have this strong smoothness that allows the boat to just to run on really freely. They're not wasting energy at the end of the stroke. There's no violent movements at the end of the stroke. So that efficiency can tell, and often in the second half of the race, it's pretty critical as well. And the moment they've crept back well on turns, starting to inch ahead. 
the thing is with those Americans, once you get into that rhythm, it's very hard with that power base rhythm to get, you know, really lift the rate and just in a sprint finish, you know, head to head. And, and that's what the Dutch have got to put themselves in that position. They have. I mean, they have still got contact, which is great. They need to build on that. So both both crews, in a way, are, will be looking to make a move either to get really back on terms in the Dutch crew now or with the Americans to sort of put it to bed. But you're right, there, there's often the, the lack of fluidity of the hands around the turn and the American crew makes it difficult to, to kind of raise the rate smoothly and easily. But at the moment, they still have got that power over the Dutch. So... It's the Americans we're looking at there, the back of uh, Grace Latz, the 29-year-old, so much experience in this American A, Emily Reagan in the two-seat, also 29, Youngling and Brugman, 24 and 25 respectively, and the Dutch girls on the right of your picture, all around 21 years of age, with the exception of Caroline Florian, who I think is just 19. So. It really is youth against experience here. It is, and fantastic. They are coming back in the Dutch crew. They are really not afraid of these Americans who've got Olympic and World Championship medals. They are not afraid of that, and they are going to take it to them right down to the end. And they're coming back. They've lifted their rate. They have that ability, that fluidity, that they can actually make a move. We've seen that with Claire's Court in the 40 Cup, the uh, junior boys quad, who were so fluid and so flexible in the race. And we've seen it now with the Dutch under-23 crew. Their pace and poise... The flow has taken them back through that sort of stonking power base rhythm of the Americans. They're on the right of your picture. It's not over yet that the Dutch have a crucial advantage. Yeah, it's way I should think if you compared Ergo's scores, you would probably have on the rowing machine much bigger scores in the American boat, but much bigger technical effect in the Dutch crew, much bigger technical ability. And, and so, you know, the Ergos don't float. And I think that's what we're seeing here at the moment. So the Americans have cracked. They have the Olympic champion in women's eights in that boat, in the two-seat, Emily Reagan, and she's not used to being beaten by other nations' crews. But at the moment, the Dutch have flowed through beautifully, and their coach, Jose Verdonkshot, who runs the whole Dutch women's program, is absolutely going to be delighted. So he's really smart today. Never see him in a blazer and a tie, but he's scrubbed up nice for Henley, and he's going to be smiling all over his face because I think his Dutch crew are going to do the Americans. It's beautiful, and it, this is another 23 crew. I mean, they're actually uh, the standard of a, of a senior crew, so fantastic, and putting down a marker for Plovdiv in the Under-23 World Championships later this year. And in the two-seat, Caroline Florin, of course, from the very famous rowing family. Her father, Reggie, won the Olympic double skulls title in the Seoul Olympics with Nico Rinks. Beautiful boat to watch, and Caroline has got all his fluidity. Lovely sort of back turn there, just lets the blade come out early, just releases the boat, and, and that's the skill which these Dutch women have got over the Americans. Incredible, their technique has absolutely taken them to a fantastic victory here, and an upset, I think. Yeah, big upset. I don't think we'd have predicted this, but uh, it's great to see. Youth has won out over experience. The women from Hollandia, Road Club, Roy Club, Netherlands, see how much they've enjoyed that and what it's cost them caroline florin they're absolutely exhausted so there are the dutch women and uh well let's take a look off the start and uh two contrasting styles kath yeah we absolutely saw that didn't we all the way down the the power from the american crew versus the technique of the dutch Looked great for the Americans here, didn't it? But you, you kind of thought they were into that sort of, you know, I'd, I'd say that's a really hard piece. You could probably go on for 10, 15 minutes like that, really. But uh, just the looseness and the fluidity, maybe, which they could have done with in this mid-course, that was really what deserted them. The American squad are in that transition place at the moment when they came to Poznan. That's where they found themselves suddenly back in the pack, not, not leading through just powering out away from the rest of the world. So there's something they're still finding in the American squad, big, and we've seen that here. It's a big test for Tom Tahar, isn't it? Mm. Because he's never really been in this position before the all-conquering coach of the American women's program. And, uh, well, this American crew finished fourth in... Poznan with Vicky Oppitz in the three seat. Elizabeth Youngling came in and uh, much the same story because, well, great performance from Veronique Meester and Inka Cleveling there, the two Dutch women in the stern of the boat. Caroline Florin laid out exhausted the 19-year-old.